that fat cap rendered perfectly. Nice bark on it. Hey, what do you say Weekend Warriors? My name's Mike with Weekend Warrior BBQ. Today we're smoking a whole pork butt in a pellet smoker overnight, no wrap. One of my favorite ways to do it. We can get some sleep while that cooks. And I have a surprise dessert that you can make in your smoker that I think you're gonna love. Coming right up. All right, so 10 pound whole bone in pork butt and nice big fat cap on here. You can just score it with a nice sharp knife. This will help it render and you'll get some seasonings down there at least. And then at the end, if you want, you can just uh, mix in the fat or you can take it away. Your choice. And we'll just make some cross hatches to make it look nice. And I'll tell you what, I love... This is where the pellet smoker really has the most value for me, is the overnight cook. I can sleep while this thing's cooking away, and that's awesome. And the next thing we're gonna do is use some yellow mustard as a binder. This will definitely help the rub stick. I rinsed this thing off and then patted it dry with paper towels. Uh, so it's not wet enough for that rub to completely stick to this. So I'm gonna brush this on nice and light on the sides, on the top, and on the bottom. And what you're looking at now is the bottom side with the mustard. Now I'm making this for a friend of mine who's going to be having a uh, taco party of some kind. He likes pulled pork tacos, quesadillas, that kind of thing. And I asked him, how do you want me to season it? Just salt and pepper? Do you have a specific rub or seasoning you like? And he really likes this uh, fajita seasoning from Meat Church. So the plan is I'm going to season this for him, smoke it, get a nice bark, and then he can add whatever he wants after the fact I'll shred it up for him and he'll have it ready to go so I am gonna go heavy this is a giant piece of meat we'll get the sides and then we'll get that fat cap all right now we're gonna put this directly into the smoker we're smoking at 250 degrees Fahrenheit today and I'm using hickory pellets nice strong smoke flavor we're gonna get this guy right onto the center rack fat cap up we'll get this door closed so we get some of that heavy smoke on there and we're gonna let this guy cook unwrapped we're not gonna wrap it at all all night long until it hits about 205 degrees fahrenheit i will be putting in a temperature probe which i'll show you later there's no point wasting batteries and putting it in now I know it's not going to be done till you know tomorrow morning but right before i go to bed i'll put that meat probe in and in the meantime tonight we're going to make something for us to eat for dinner i'm not going to show that but because i have this fired up i want to show you a really simple dessert that's great this time of year with some strawberries all right this is awesome i learned this from uh, francis melman one of his cookbooks and it is so simple and so delicious all you're going to do is remove the stems of the strawberries, like that. The big ones, you'll just cut in half and put them in a bowl. And here, if you've never done this before, this is just a cheap old steak knife. Grab it by the end, like this. Just poke it in, turn the strawberry around the knife and it pops right out of there. Simple as that. All right, so there they are. One pound strawberries cut up, most of them in half. Take a half a cup of sugar. Oh yeah. And make sure these get nice and coated. Just use your hand. And now it's gonna go in a cast iron pan. This is 12 inch, but really you could get away with the 10 inch. This is a half a stick of unsalted butter. 
250 degrees in your smoker for about 20 to 25 minutes. The butter should be all melted. The strawberries should be nice and soft. And then I'll show you what we do next. And while that's cooking, you're gonna need some mint. I'm fortunate to have mint in my garden. So I'll be grabbing a handful of that. And let me show you the rest of what's going on here. So these are my Roma tomatoes, zucchini. Check that out. So the zucchini's coming in. I've got two of those. More mint, lots of herbs, fennel. I'm gonna be cooking with a lot of fennel. There's the basil, giant spinach. Our pepper plants. One of them's doing okay, the other's not so much. Strawberries, just a quick look. This is what's in the background behind me. Two trellises that I made. We've got those climbing up. More Roma tomatoes. And then we've got two green bean pots. Or I should call them bags. Bean bags. So we're excited to be cooking with those too. It's gonna be awesome. All right, we are about 20 minutes in to this dessert. Let's open this up, and man, does that smell good. And I'm just gonna gently move these around and look at all of that juice that's gonna come into play here in a little bit. Just wanna make sure the sugar is dissolved, uh, which for the most part it is. I think this probably needs another five to 10 minutes. That's looking mighty fine. All right, we'll be back in about five to 10 minutes to finish this off. <laughs> oh, look at that. Just absolutely beautiful. And the smell with that butter and the smoke. So here goes the mint. I roughly chopped it. You wanna release the oils. And we're gonna garnish these strawberries. Get a picture from my Facebook group, Weekend Warrior BBQ on Facebook. And then you're gonna serve it over top of some ricotta cheese. So we'll spoon out some strawberries. And I get plenty of that juice, all the butter and juice that has uh, been released. And that's it right there. That's money. You're gonna love this. Serve it as a dessert with whatever you want, whether it's the pulled pork I'm cooking today or just your everyday regular dinner. Man, is it good. And we are three hours in. We're gonna open this door and put in the meat probe. It is time for me to go to bed. Get this open, let out the smoke light here so I have my uh, wireless meter put this guy in right there and then I'll do one more it doesn't really matter I just like having two so I have a reference point and here's our temperature so internal on probe one is 124 Fahrenheit Probe two is at 129. My target temperature is 205 degrees. And the pit temperature is low right now. I just had the door open for a while. It's at 198, um, but it's gonna climb back up to about 250. And we're gonna let it ride. Uh, when it hits 205, this thing's gonna wake me up and I'll take it out and let it rest and show you what it looks like. And here we are, 13 and a half hours later. It was a 10 pound whole pork butt and it just hit 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna get a little carryover. So I'm gonna turn off the smoker. 
I'll cover it loosely with foil, let it cool down for an hour or two, and then we'll shred it up. Wanted you to get a good look. I didn't spritz it, I didn't touch it. I just let the smoker work its magic. Fat cap up, so all of the uh, fat juices basted it overnight. It's incredibly soft. Drip pan, just to keep the smoker clean. So like I said, I'll let it rest, and then uh, we'll shred it up and show you how it looks. And here it is. After a two hour rest, I'm ready to shred this and then go take it over to my buddy who's gonna use it for a taco party. So let's uh, shred this up a little bit. When I picked it up out of the smoker, this piece just fell off. That's how tender it is. And uh, just break some of this open here with a couple forks. Let's just see how nice and easy. That fat cap rendered perfectly. Nice bark on it. Look at how this is just coming right apart. And I'm gonna leave it in some bigger pieces for him. If he wants to make them smaller, he can do that. Look at that. Well, hey, I'm gonna keep shredding this. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up and definitely check out one of these two videos right there and I'll see you over there. Look at that shoulder blade bone. Comes clean out.